Hi, my name is Sam. I'm from Excel Air Systems. Today we're going to talk about our ICM fan controls. We're going to show you how to remove and replace it with a new one. So first we're going to start by opening up the electrical panel. Depending on your exact model, it'll be a Phillips or slotted screw. This model here has the slotted screws. I've already loosened them, so we're just going to pull this off. And we're going to take a look at what's inside our unit. So this unit is not currently installed and is missing its main power supply. Your unit will look differently, but what we want to do is remove this fan control. This is what controls the speed of your outdoor fan and in the event of it malfunction or fails, you're going to need to replace it. It's fairly simple to do. You need very few tools. There will usually be a supplied screwdriver here for the smaller set screws. If not a small slotted screwdriver, a pair of pliers or your fingers to remove the three flagpole terminals a Phillips driver to remove the single screw here, and a slotted screwdriver to pry slightly at the back to remove the double-sided tape on the back of this. Okay, we're gonna start by removing our electrical terminals. I always recommend you take a photo or write down where each wire is connected to. You can use this video as reference, but most people have smartphones with cameras. Take a quick photo and it'll make putting it back together a lot easier. I'm going to remove the two sensor wire cables here. Of course, make sure the power is off to the system first. Once loosened, pull them up out of the way. And the bottom flagpole terminals are high voltage or line voltage. Wiggle and pull. If you're finding this difficult, use a pair of pliers or needle nose. Now we're going to remove the single Phillips screw here. And this control is still quite stuck in there with a double-sided tape. Let's take a flat screwdriver, pry gently at the back. And you can hear it pop. There you can see the remnants of the double-sided tape. I'm gonna put this off to the side, out of the way. Label it if you need to, that it is no longer functioning. Okay, so now we're gonna install the new one, starting with opening the packaging, pull out your new control, and we're gonna reinstall it in basically the reverse order. So you won't need to put another piece of double-sided tape on the back of it. You should be able to just press it right onto the existing tape. I'm gonna start by putting that guy in there. Okay, so now we're gonna put the single Phillips screw back into the hole lining up with the original drilled out hole. Very secure. Put your flagpole terminals back on. So we're going to go to red onto 240 volts VAC line one. Keep in mind there is a 120 volt tab here that is usually removed, but in the event it's not, do not use that tab. Uh, our black wire is going to go on to line two. And the final remaining flagpole terminal yellow wire is on to motor two. Make sure those are all secured on there. And again, that there is nothing on 120 volts VAC. Remaining two wires are our probes. So this sensor is going to go into probe S1. So if you count from the right side, you're gonna miss the first two going to the third and fourth slot. Make sure that the set screws are all the way out. They will not fall out. They will start to click when you've taken them all the way out. Take your wire, spin the cable portion. It'll make it easier putting it inside. And you're gonna gently push it into the fourth tab and start tightening. The wires themselves do not matter which one goes into the third or fourth tab. Tighten the remaining wire. Okay, give them a little bit of a tug. They're in there snugly. They're in their correct terminals, probe S1. There's no wire frayed at the top, jumping across the sensors or into another set screw. Okay, so now that you've installed the new control, you can turn power back onto the unit. 
allow the unit to enter its cooling cycle and take notice for the lights on the control as well as go and get a visual check of your outdoor condenser fan to ensure that it is functioning now. Once complete, turn power off again and make sure to put your electrical cover panel back on.